Hey guys, Spencer Kaufman here with How To Video Channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a mailbox with a decorative block brick encasement. So here we've got a pile of gravel. We're gonna dig a hole and we're gonna put the gravel in the hole so we have a nice base. Now, a couple things we also have are the mailbox post and the block. So we've got several different block here. We also have landscaping adhesive because you're gonna need that. So we've got some brick, we've got some block, and we've got some bigger block along with the landscape adhesive, a mailbox, and the mailbox post. So what we're gonna do is set the mailbox post in the ground with the leveling pad of gravel. We're gonna also make sure that the height of this encasement matches what we have on the post because sometimes we could have a post that might be too long and if you have a post that's too long you either need to cut it or sink the post in the dirt uh, because we are going to build the encasement first and then put the post in second rather than putting the post in and building the encasement around it. Uh, you could do either one but uh, that's the approach we are going to take. We have some plans. They are on paperwork, so we're gonna follow them step by step like Legos. So I'm gonna dig the hole and get the gravel in and then come back and show you the plans. Okay, here we are. We have the hole dug and we have our fill right there. Mailbox post here. Now the Postal Service recommends a height of about 41 to 45 inches. So for us, we are going to have to dig down the center a little bit. So we've got a nice post hole digger that we are going to dig down. And also we've got our mailbox plans. You can get these uh, from midwestmanufacturing.com through Menards. So that's what we're going for right there. It's got a nice step-by-step, -step, all kinds of instructions. They also say to lay the first course below ground. So we are going to make sure to dig this a little deeper. So we'll get the mailbox post set and then fill it with gravel and come back and show you laying the first course. All right, we have the post set. Now, when you're setting the post, it is important, again, the height between 41 and 45 inches, and also you want this to be level. So you can see there we're level this way and level that way. It's more important to be level up there rather than vertically because you have the mailman or woman that wants to be able to access the box. And if the post is level vertically, but the box is like this, they're not going to like that. So make sure you level that out. Then take your block, follow the steps on the plan. It's like Legos, level one, two, three, four, continuing on. So you're going to follow the plans for level one, which is putting four of these large blocks in. So I'll lay the first one like so. Just like that, check out for level. Okay, look at that, we're a little off, which means we just need to heighten that side. So we can do that by adjusting the base and we'll get all four blocks laid and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, here we are. We have completed the first course. One thing to note is that it is easier to build if you don't put the post in the middle. However, in some cases, putting the post might help you. For example, here you can measure to make sure your distance between each block and the post is the same all the way around, but it is very difficult to measure your diagonals. So for example, to check your square, you would normally measure from one corner to one corner and then from another corner to another corner and make sure that your whole uh, foundation is square. In this case, we can't, so we'll just have to measure each corner from the post, which could give you a hindrance because the post might not be perfect. Uh, so we're about 12 inches on each corner from the post, which is square. So our, our building is square, plus we can measure this way and we're one foot nine on each end to end all the way around the block. The next thing to check, of course, is making sure that everything is level or close to it. So here we are a little bit off, but it's right on 
all the way around. So you can see there. Then once you make sure that each block is level, you can use that with a little level. So you can check each direction. This is very important that it's level both the long way and the short way. And then also from block to block. So you can get a good diagonal there to check that out and see that this is level or pretty close to it. And then you could check this way and you can see that is level. And you can continue going all the way around, making sure that every which way is good and level, or at least within about a 16th of an inch, because you will have to account for some settling of the foundation. Although if you pack it real well, settling will be minimal. So the next thing to do is go on to step two or level two, which is the bricks. So you can see here, they give you a little diagram from the top down and then they give you some dimensions so we're going to follow along all the way through each step and i will give you a little visual of what it looks like step by step that'll just be a quick five second clip so you'll be able to see them all one after another and then the finished product so here we go level two level two completed so you can see here, we have completed level two. We have gone around with the bricks on the outside, some on the inside, and they touch right up next to the post. So in this case, the post kind of hindered us, uh, but it could also help because this post is definitely a warped board. So if we were to build this whole tower and then hope that the post fit down a straight line, it would be terrible. Therefore, it was a really good thing that we put the post in first and are building around it. Now, what that does is it's going to throw us off a little bit because like, for example, here, this is a one and a half inch span from the edge of the brick to the outside, whereas out here on this side, this is about a two inch span. Now, the only way we could fix that is if we were to shift this over, but because the board is warped, we cannot. Uh, so if, if we had shifted this over and built it first, the whole tower would be perfectly square and symmetrical, but this post would not fit because the post is literally kind of like a banana. And that's a problem uh, that the customer or whoever purchases should fix on that because if you purchase a straight post, you will be just fine. So keep that in mind. That is why in this case we put the post in first because it was warped and there would be no way to guarantee that it would fit down the slot. So here we go. We're going to go to level three right here, which is about the same as level one. And then level four is the same as level two. So we're going to continue building. Remember to put adhesive in between each layer. So we've been doing that. We've got the PL500 landscape adhesive that we are putting in between each layer. So we're going to build level three, show you that coming up next. Level three completed. One thing to note is that on the third level, we've rotated all of these blocks. So in the previous level, this long one here was right here, you can see. So we've rotated it so that they are stacking up properly. And we're gonna do the same thing on the next level, level four. So you can see on the diagram, we've got them like that with two on the bottom and then one vertical. Here we've got it kind of shifted around. And that's just to keep the courses alternating. So here we go, we're gonna put down the adhesive and then complete level four. While you're waiting, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. Level four complete. One thing to note is that, again, given the post in the center and it is not exactly square, that when you're building this, you can see here we have about two inches from the corner to corner. Over here, we've got about two inches from corner to corner. But then you check out this side and we've got about two and a half inches to the corner. 
Now the only way to improve that would be to shift the entire thing this direction, but we can't because we are locked up tight against this piece of wood. Well, remember I said this piece of wood was kind of shaped like a banana, like this. It's like a C curve facing the road. So we are gonna be a little bit off on square, but the thing to make sure of is that if this happens to you, not to worry, because remember, nothing is ever perfect. Lumber is not straight, grounds are not level, bricks are not even all the same size. Some might be thicker, some might be longer. I've certainly encountered that already, even on this project. Or example, you have a chip on one and it's off. So remember, nothing is ever going to be exactly perfect. You can get it as close as you can get it and keep building. That is the main thing. Make sure they're secure. Make sure your distances are good. So the measurements from outside to outside and outside to outside all the way around are the same. That's key. And then of course, making sure the entire thing is level. So we are going to continue on to level five. Level five complete. So this was an introduction of a bigger block. We've got a new block here and then some bricks in here. I don't know, it looks kind of neat. But uh, we'll continue on with level six, which is going to be the same as this brick here. You can see level six, obviously it's rotated. And then level seven will be same as this level. So we're going to do level six and we'll show you and then continue on all the way up. Stay tuned. Level six complete. One thing to note is that now it seems that the levels are the same. We're not alternating. You can see here, so the next level is gonna be the same as this level, and it'll be exactly the same. For some reason, the plans are no longer alternating, and we're following the plans. So here we go, level seven, coming right up. Level seven completed. All right, we're gonna continue on with level eight, which is the same as level six and level four. Here we are, level eight. So stay tuned. I know it's uh, quick changes between each one, but coming right up, you can check out level eight. Level eight complete. And with only two levels to go, this is a good time for us to check our levels for level. So we're gonna put the level up, make sure all the bricks are touching, looks pretty good, check level, looks good. Check over here. Same type of deal, all touching, looks pretty level to me. We'll check here. Now it's important, again, remember our post is curved like a banana, so really only three sides are probably gonna be perfect. The back side will be off because, again, of the squareness of the post. So that one's right on. So far, so good, we're doing great. And let's check here. I figure one of these times I'll embarrass myself and I should say, oh, I should check it before I record it. But here we go. That one looks good. Right there is good. All right. Those are all touching. And that looks level. So we've just done six points. Let's check the back side here. So we're touching there. We're not all touching. And we're a little off. So that would mean like that. So really all it means there is we just gotta pull this bottom one out a little bit, which we can do just like this. And then we gotta be careful to make sure it doesn't mess up the far side. But look at that now, look at that. There we go, we're level there. And this side, okay, huh, we're level there. So there we go, I'm a lot better than I thought. All right, so that means we are solid level all the way around vertically. We've got eight levels built, we have two left. So we're gonna build level nine, which is these big suckers again, and then finish it off with level 10, which is the rest of those little blocks. So we'll show you level nine, then we'll break again and do level 10. So here we go, level nine coming up. Level nine completed. This one was a little trickier because it is the overhang again, but to make sure that we did it properly, again, we measured from the corners out about 12 inches, just like the previous two down there. 
And then the other thing that we did to kind of help us out was to use the level and make sure all points were touching on all three of those courses. And that really helped do that all the way around. And then of course, measuring the distance, this really wouldn't change because there's no mortar between the joints. So that's what we did there, level nine completed. Now it is time for the final level, level 10, which is another row of these brick. So make sure on the final level to use a good amount of adhesive so that none of it moves or comes off. So I'm gonna show you the final result coming up in a couple seconds for you. Level 10 completed, and here we are. We have the final product. So we've got the courses all lined up. Everything looks good. Here's our final product. There we go. That's what it should look like on each side right there. So the back side right here. And there we are. Looks pretty good. So I'll just go around, show you how it looks. It's all level. It's all nice. It's a very good mailbox decoration post. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you need any help, if you have any questions, check out the description below. Also leave comments and I can get on and help you with anything you might have trouble with. In addition, be sure to click the like button on the video, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified for future videos. Thank you.